Hi folks, I'm Allie with the Potomac Bead Company and I'm going to show you today how to do this Captured Cups bracelet. It's a fun bracelet, it's going to sit up on the wrist a little bit. It's working with our exclusive cup buttons, which have two holes and a little bit of a dome shape to them. We're also going to be working with Super Duos here in between our cup buttons. And we're working with 11 O's and 8 O seed beads. The colors I've chosen to work with for today's project are the white shimmer. It has a nice pearl color for the cup buttons. And you're going to need approximately, depending on the size of the wrist, about 15 to 19 cup buttons. You're going to use an odd amount because we're going to use two per little capture here and then you're going to have one at the end as your clasp. In addition to that, my super duos, I have the white pastel amber color. I have my eight O's in the matte metallic raspberry color. And then I'm working with a uh, Mayuki seed bead that has a check finish on it. So I'm working with the white blue luster in the 11 O seed bead. Those are the four types of beads that you're going to be working with. Well, three beads and one button. And then we're also going to be working with some thread. This is .006 Wildfire Beading Thread. I am choosing to use a green color for this. I have handy my thread zap, and the thread zap is going to help to cut that thread at the end. In addition to that, I have my 110 English Beading Needle. It's always a great idea to store these in your extra empty tubes. That's what we do here. And you can see it's a size 10 in there. We're going to be using two needles. Lastly, I'm working on a bead mat, and I have a needle nose pliers here in order to help me flatten out that burned thread. So we're going to start out with two needles on our thread, and we're going to start by adding our cup button closure clasp right away. So I've attached a needle to each end of my thread, and I have about five feet of thread that I'm working with. Again, two needles, one on either side, and I've just left a little bit of tail on either end to work with. The first thing I'm going to do is add one of my cup buttons that is going to be the clasp closure. So I'm going to have a button closure. I'm going to be putting on a super duo here. First, going one needle through one hole, one needle going through the other hole in the same direction. All this is going to do is decorate the cup button as I put this button on, going through one hole and then the other hole as well. So that cup button is just going to get decorated a little bit as I pull the thread through, and you're going to pull it halfway. I'm going to be able to come back and reinforce this because we are building the center of our bracelet and then we're going to come back and build the sides. On either side now of my cup button, so on my right needle and on my left needle, I'm going to add three of my 11 OC beads, three on the right and three on the left. And then I'm going to put one 8 O bead on both needles going in the same direction. What this is going to do is just create a little Y effect coming out of the back of the button. So when you pull here, or you want to make sure you're still in the middle of your thread, you have a nice little ending for your button that gets like all those colors right away on. So I'm going to start by doing a little bit of this diamond shape here with my, uh, with my super duos. To start, I'm going to use two of my 11 O's on the right needle and two on the left. If you're doing a different clasp, you just kind of have to see at the end the way that it sits nicely and how many beads you need to put on before your super duo. So this is a project where I'm holding my needles right at the end. I'm going to put a super duo on, one needle going through on one hole, one needle on the other hole. And I'm going to line these up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the needles right in place. On the right needle, I'm going to put another super duo, and on the left needle, another. Then goes on a fourth super duo, so that way I'm getting that little diamond shape. You're going to push that down your needle, and it's going to drop the whole way down to the cup buttons. So that way you have your first little diamond that you're working with. Now what I'm going to do is right before I put on my cup button, I'm going to put one 11 o on each needle. After that, we're going to drop a cup button. This cup button is going to go in through the back, and then the next one we put on is going to go in through the front. That's going to get that capturing effect that we're looking for. So I have one 11 on either side of my needle, and then I'm going to put on my cup button. I'm then going to put an 11 after the cup button as well. This is going to just add a little bit of that color in, but it's also going to hide some of the thread. The nice thing is I picked a green thread and a green 11 seed bead, so it's going to make you see it even less. 
Once I have that on, I'm gonna do that same pattern that I did with the diamond where I'm holding and working with my super duos, except I'm basically gonna double it. I'm gonna take one super duo through both sides, then I'm gonna drop one on either side. That extra needle hole, or that extra hole that's hanging out on the super duos, we're gonna come back and catch that right now I'm just doing two long so you're getting that diamond in and you're almost creating two diamonds and we're gonna have these beads on here so that's the effect that you want to have there is that double diamond you're gonna have three beads in the middle and four on each outer area you're gonna let that drop down next to your cup button and that's gonna sit right inside that cup button to do the next portion, I'm going to put on an 11 L on each needle, one on the right, one on the left, and then I'm going to put on my next cup button. So I have a needle on right hand, left hand, and my cup button this time I'm going through the center. So that way it gets that captured effect. On the right needle then an 11 O goes on, and on the left needle an 11 O goes on. I'm going to drop that down next to my pattern, or next to my piece here and give it a nice little tight pull and push my beads in place. So you can see that first little capture that's going on between those peyote pieces. Because basically with the super duos here, what we're doing is peyote. I'm gonna repeat the diamond, just like I've done here. And then we're gonna go into another cup button section. Repeating the diamond here, I just have one of my super duos that I'm going on both needles and then I'm going to split the needles, one super duo on either side and then I'm going to bring those needles back together and remember I have those 11 O's already on there and then I'm going to finish it with an 11 O on either side. You can do this if you don't want to poke yourself you can push that down and pick up one needle at a time that's up to you. At that same time while I have this all in my hand I'm going to put on my next cup button which is going bowl facing outward and also at that same time I'm gonna put an 11 O seed bead on either side. Again the 11 O is just really to hide the thread you're not really gonna see it much at all. You see it more next to your diamond section here on the sides than you do actually in the middle. And there you have it. And we're just gonna continue on doing the exact same thing where I'm adding my super duos in the middle with 11 O's on either side of the cup buttons. You're going to do this the whole extended length of your wrist. Most likely you're going to have about 12 cup buttons total that you're using to capture in, so about six sections. So here I have six sections of my little cup buttons there that are capturing in the peyote. And when I'm working with it here, you can see I have six, so I have 13 beads on all together. Um, this is going to be a little bit large for me. If you do need a kind of in-between size, you don't quite make that seventh cup button size or the sixth is a little big, you can always extend your peyote on the ends or shorten it to make it a little bit shorter or a little bit bigger. So I've added my last cup button here, and when I'm coming out to the end, I'm going to continue my pattern where I put my 11 O on either side, and then I'm still going to do my diamond shape. So I'm going to do my super duo on either side, or one super duo on either needle, one on each side, and one here in the middle. And I'm going to let that all fall down next to my last cup button. And just like we did at the beginning, I'm going to do that little bit of a little X design here. So I'm going to put on two of my 11 O's on the right needle, two on the left, and then I'm going to join them going through one 8 O. And push that all down. Now what I'm going to do differently is I'm going to separate my needles and I'm going to use just one needle right now and I'm going to pick up approximately 24 of my 11 O seed beads. So I'm going to pick up 24 of these just with one needle. I'm going to use the other needle then to reinforce this. Because anytime you have a clasp you always want to make sure to have more than one thread going through because that's the area that you'll get the greatest tension on your bracelets and even necklaces too. So you always want to have at least two threads going through if not three going through the very end of your project. And right now I'm just putting on enough seed beads to make a loop that's big enough to go around my cup button here at the end. 
So I'm going to put a couple more beads on here. And 24, 25 is kind of the magic number when you're working with the cup buttons and 11 O's to make your buttonhole size. So I'm not going to count. I'm just going to assume that's correct. With my needle that I have my bead strung on, I'm going to go back through my 8 O bead. And I'm also going to go back through my two 11 O's. And it doesn't really matter which side because we're going to do the other one with the other side. I'm now going to pick up the needle that I didn't put any beads on. And this one is going to be used to reinforce this loop. So I'm going to go up through the entire loop and reinforce. If you want to, you could also do a peyote stitch on this portion. The peyote looks really nice. We have other YouTube videos if you watch those on peyote. And I like to do for my personal bracelets, I like to do the peyote on it because I think it gives it a nice finished look at the end. We're going to go down all of those, down through the eight, and we're going to go through the two 11 O's that are on the opposite side. So one of my threads is coming off to the left there and this one is coming off to the right. I'm going to give a nice tight pull with both threads and that's going to tighten up my whole bracelet as well as that thread loop at the end. What I'm going to do now is we're going to go into the outer portion of the cup buttons. We're going to kind of capture them even more and we're going to put the 11 O's on the sides and 8 O's kind of in the gaps and spaces that are created. So the 11 O's are going to go on either side of the cup buttons and then the 8 O's are going to go on the diamonds and in the center sections of the peyote connecting those little pieces or those little holes there on the super duos. So to get to there, I'm going to be using the 11 O's and the 8 O's at this time. So you can put your cup buttons away and your super duos away because we are finished with those. So right now we're going to be working with 8 O's and 11 O's. To start, I'm going to go with my right needle. I'll be doing the exact same thing with the left, but I'm just going to start with the one right needle. With the right needle, I'm going to pick up an 11 O, and then I'm going to pick up an 8 O, and then I'm going to pick up an 11 O. I'm going to sew through the empty hole of the first diamond section of my super duos. Just give a nice little pull and that's going to kind of decorate the side there. I'm basically going to be repeating this in the diamond section and I'm going to be adding the eight O's kind of on the side here. So on the side what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an 11 O and then I'm going to do my eight O and then I'm going to do another 11 O. I'm going to get ready with this first one just to go right over the cup button and right in between. So to do that we're going to be using all 11 O's and then an 8 O right till we get to the center section. So around the cup button here we are going to be using a number of C beads and it's going to be five C beads. One, two, three, four, five C beads. I'm then going to sew through that first super duo that has an open hole on this side of my cup button. Give a nice tight pull and that's going to decorate the side right there of the cup button. In between I'm going to add an 8 out and then I'm going to sew through the next hole of the open super duo. That 8 out then just drops right in between there. So I'm going to create and that opening and that gap Basically, we're going to do the opposite of what I did over here. So we're going to put on five 11 O beads. And then I'm going to add a sixth, my 8 O, and then another 11 O. And we're going to capture the next super duo in line. And that's going to sit right on the side like that. Again, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to do an 8 0 with an 11 0 on each side and then five more 11 0s. Down to the next opening of the next super duo in line. Whatever I do on the right side here, I'm also going to do on the left. So I'm going to take a tiny little break after I get done here and go back to the left side and work on that. I have my 8 0 on through my next super duo. And then when I come back, I'm going to get ready 
to add my 11 O's. They're gonna sit right on the side. So right now I'm gonna flip over and do my left a little bit. So here I've decorated and started doing both sides as I come down and have those little captured little peyote sections. And when you're working with it, the 8 O's really do stand out nice, so it's nice to put a different color in it. You can switch up the 8 O's for a teardrop if you like, that's kind of up to you. But I'm gonna continue going on here. And the peyote, or the 11 O seed beads also help the cut buttons to kind of sit up nicely. So I'm gonna continue on doing my pattern. When I'm coming out of the cut button, I'm doing my five 11 O's and then my 11 O, 8 O, 11 O. And that's gonna decorate the sides here of the diamonds with my 8 O's. And then on the sides, when or in the center of the cut buttons, I'm also using an 8 O. So I've gotten to the end on both the right and the left of the piece, adding those 11 O's and the 8 O's in place. And all I'm gonna do is do the exact same as I did on the starter side, adding my beads to get me back to the start here. So again, all I'm gonna do is add my one 11 O, one 8 O, and then two 11 O's. Oh, I'm sorry, 111.0. And once I drop that down next to my clasp, twist this to get that out of the way. I'm gonna go up through my clasp. So I'm going up through those 11 O's, up through the 8 O, and I'm gonna go up the whole way through the clasp. I was trying to catch all those beads at once, but I don't think it's gonna happen. And get my tail out of there. So this is just with one side, it's just with my needle on the right that I'm doing that. That needle on the left, I'm gonna push out of the way. And I'm gonna reinforce that clasp. To do that again, I'm going up through all of those beads, up through my cut button, up through the super duo. I'm going down through the super duo, down through the cut button, and out the 11 O's on the other side. Also through the 8 O. I'm gonna pull my thread out at that point. I'm gonna go through the two beads that I have there on the side. And then I'm gonna add my 11, 8, 11 that are gonna decorate the side here. And all I'm gonna do then is take my two thread ends and I'm gonna tie a knot. Making sure those beads stay down in. When I tie the knot, that's gonna end my project completely. If you want to, you can reinforce again, going through the needle with the other way, but I like to tie the knot not right on the end, so this gives you an opportunity to kinda of tie it a little bit off to the side. And I do right over left, left over right, give a nice tight pull. I'm going to tie one more time, tightening that up, and then I'm gonna take my thread burner and I like to hold the thread, for the thread burner, I like to hold the thread ends together, burn them off together, leaving a tiny bit of a tail. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna burn them down so that way they fuse together. And that's then gonna keep that knot in place there. So I'm pushing those two thread ends together so they get little in intermingled there. And that's all. If you want to, you can do a little dab of glue. That's kind of up to you. But it gives a nice bracelet with these captured cups in, working with the Super Duos, which we love. And it sits off the bracelet just really, really nicely, or off the wrist really nicely. And you're gonna go right in then and use your cup button. And if you don't like the top of the cup button there with that Super Duo, you can always use the back of the cup button. That's up to you. But I like those little diamonds that it creates. This is really easy also to make a pair of earrings doing the same design, having the cup button just at the bottom there, but doing that little triangle on top. So you can do a nice set out of this. You can even do this as a necklace as well with the center section here with the captured cup buttons. And then you can do the back portion of the necklace just with two strands of seed beads if you like, so you can kind of look at that this way as well with the curvature and kind of have it curved if, as if it were on a necklace. So you can use all these different fun cup button projects that I really have enjoyed working with this great shape 
and playing around with the super duos makes it even more fun. The 11 O's and the 8 O's just add a nice little pop of color, kind of help to keep those cup buttons in place and not swaying back and forth. And then adding that little shimmer, that white pastel of the super duos really sets off and pops off that pearl color. Unfortunately with the um, camera you can't really see the luster as well on the pearl. Um, as the on the shimmer cup buttons, but they really do sparkle really nicely. I wear pearls and have pearls almost in every single piece of jewelry that I that I make. If I don't, I kind of add them on. This is just a leather wrap bracelet. So I'm a pearl girl. I really like to use them. So the shimmer really allows me to get that pearl look in the cup buttons. So there's other great cup button projects as well as other great projects if you watch the rest of our YouTube videos. You can get the cup buttons at our Potomac Bead Company locations exclusively. And you can check out the list of those on PotomacBeads.com and check out our locations page. If you can't get to one of our physical locations, you can always order from us online and we're happy to ship you out. We do sell them in packs of five as well as packs of 30 and bigger two packs of 100, but the 30 pack really will get you two bracelets when you're working on this. So hopefully you get a chance to pick up some of these awesome cup buttons, play around, have fun, and make one of these captured little cup button bracelets.